very tough day for the brand. Not even going to welcome you bike in this video. So Cam Akers has torn his Achilles. And he's going to be out for the year. Torn Achilles is... Don't want to say a death sentence to a running back, but it's a it's a devastating injury for a uh, for a young for a young running back. It, it zaps a lot of explosiveness. Um, we'll get a good idea if young explosive running backs can uh, can actually make a come bike because Marlon Mack is coming off a torn Achilles. There are new procedures. There are new medical things that will uh, enable you to come back stronger. You know, stem cell injections have become a thing that people can use nowadays which speeds up the recovery process and helps you get some of the strength back in your Achilles. This is obviously, you know, I put out a video literally fucking three hours ago about my top five running backs with elite upside in 2021 fantasy football. Cam Akers was obviously on that list. I've been talking about Cam Akers for months as a guy that I thought had RB1 fantasy overall upside this year because of the situation that he's in. So we need to talk about the instant reaction, the instant, um, what the fuck does this mean now for the Rams backfield? All right. And I want to pull up their depth chart because it is, uh, it's ugly out here in the streets, man. Darrell Henderson is the only thing that they have. That's even resembling a backup running back. You have Darrell Henderson, Xavier Jones, Raymond Clias, Jake Funk, and Otis Anderson. Otis Anderson, I'm pretty sure that was the name of my, um, the janitor in my middle school. So shout out to Otis if the glow up is real there. But I mean, the rest of these guys, Jake Funk, Xavier, man, they belong to the streets. So Darrell Henderson, man, this is massive for Darrell Henderson, obviously. Because all the things I talked about with Cam Akers, the reason I loved him so much was, yes, he's a talented running back. We know that. But he's also, if, if you put him on like the Jets, I wouldn't be going nuts about Cam Akers. He's not that, he's not Saquon Barkley talent level. But you put him in the situation that he was in on the Rams this year who have upgraded their quarterback to Matt Stafford, who had a top five run blocking line per PFF last year, who have a very good offensive scheme. And we've seen running backs in this system. Todd Gurley have seasons of 90 plus targets. Um, we've seen Cam Akers' breakaway speed, right? All the things I talked about in the video this morning, which I still recommend you check out because we talk about a lot of other guys with high upside. I'll link that in the description as well as on the little cards at the end of this video if you want to check it out. But this is a devastating blow uh, for my fucking dynasty teams because I, I, man, like when I talk about guys that I like, I go out and trade for them. Like I really, I really, I really do this shit. Okay, so I just I, I made a move like a few weeks ago trading for Acres in in my top dynasty league, the Go Fade Me league, and uh, Acres. So I actually saw someone tweet out yesterday, Cam Acres torn Achilles, and I was like, what is it? What do you mean? Uh, and no one really said anything about it, so I thought it was just like a joke or someone being a cunt. Turns out that someone had the news yesterday, I guess. I traded like uh, I traded Nick Chubb, Nick Chubb, Sam Darnold, and Mike Davis for Cam Akers, Deontay Johnson, and a pick, I think. I was fine with it at the time. Not feeling too fucking good about it now. That is such a big blow to my fucking team. Uh, but anyone who has Darrell Henderson on their team, man, just secured most likely a top 15 fantasy running back for the year. I don't think Darrell Henderson is anywhere near as talented as Cam Akers is. But all of the reasons that I'm mentioning for liking Cam Akers, objectively, you have to assume uh, that Darrell Henderson takes the RB1 role, okay? And we didn't really get to see him do it last year. He had some good games last year. He's a very explosive running back. We know he has that that high-end speed. Um, and he's going to be able to break away because the line is good. The offense is good. You can't stack the box because they've got very good weapons on the team. Matt Stafford is a gunslinger, obviously. The safeties can't cheat up on this type of team. So it's huge for Darrell Henderson. Behind him, though, like, I, I would assume that they're going to go out and check the free agent market, right? Do, do they bring Mike Todd, Todd Gurley? I, I would assume that experiment in their minds was something like the COVID experiment, and it's probably not something you want to mess around with again. Le'Veon Bell is still out there. Um, you know what? Actually, real time, let me check on Spotrack. This is a, a great website if you want to go look at NFL contracts for teams. Contracts by position to see who is uh, to see who's out there, who's available in the free agent market. The first one that comes to mind is Le'Veon Bell, free agent year. Active. Let's see, running backs. T.J. Yeldon, that would be a very interesting signing there. 
uh, a lot of them are just pass catching backs. You have Deion Lewis, you have Chris Thompson, like Frank Gore. I wouldn't be surprised if they just like threw him in there to play the Malcolm Brown role from last year. But yeah, Le'Veon Bell is there. Everyone else kind of stinks on this list. I would be pretty surprised if they do not, um, if they do not end up signing a veteran running back. Because like I said before, the depth chart behind. Darrell Henderson is awful. And Darrell Henderson can catch passes. He can do everything that Cam Akers did, just like a Walmart version of him. One name I do want to point out, though, on that list of depth charts is this kid, Raymond Calias. I remember liking I remember liking him when he came out. Uh, he is an undersized back, a very, very undersized back. He's from Louisiana Lafayette. He's 23 years old. Uh, he was a seventh-round pick, and... He's 5'8", 177, but he's explosive as shit. He ran a 4'4'2", and his college yards per carry, 8.4, is in the 98th percentile. He has not got a lot of work in the NFL. I believe he was a, he might have been a rookie last year. Let me, uh, let me look up his stats and see if I'm just fucking lying about stuff right now. I remember the name, and I remember being excited about drafting him in a couple leagues, and I had him on my taxi squad. He was a four-year player at Louisiana. Um, his senior year... He popped off for his junior year. He ran for 9.3 yards per carry, seven touchdowns. His senior year, he went for 886 rushing yards, 7.6 yards per carry. So his junior senior year was good. Didn't have a lot of pass catching work. I do expect that to be mostly Darrell Henderson's uh, Darrell Henderson's role. And obviously, man, this is just it's huge for for Darrell Henderson. So I will be updating my season long rankings, which will be coming out in the draft guide. I know a lot of you guys are asking about. It. I haven't been plugging it a lot because the website is not done. Okay, we're still working with the web development agency, and hopefully, we, it will be out before August. I'm, I'm projecting a July 31st launch date, but I've also fucking projected like a July 12th and a July 20th. So don't fucking quote me on it. Um, yeah, man, this is, this is just tough. This is just tough. Uh, listen, I guess, I guess it's worth picking up a guy like Xavier Jones as well. 5'11", 210. He's got good size, only 25 years old, uh, college target share in the 60, uh, 62nd percentile college dominator in the 63rd percentile is at SMU. So it was a smaller school. But it's probably worth grabbing whoever it is because, listen, last year they didn't trust Darrell Henderson to be the workhorse, right? They drafted Cam Akers to do that. This year, if they're forced to give Darrell Henderson that workload, I'm assuming it's going to come, but I doubt that they want to do that. They want to do it with Cam Akers, but they probably don't want to do it with Darrell Henderson. So someone else is going to take a significant amount of work in this backfield. I think I'm not going to say it really impacts the rest of the skill players on the Rams, you know, Robert Woods and, and Cooper Cup. Um Tyler Higby, whatever the case may be. I don't, I don't really think it's uh, – it's not like we saw – it's not like we saw Cam Akers get 90 targets last year, so we were projecting him to get that already, right? If he took a big jump up in targets last year, if he was getting like 60, 70 targets, I'd say, hey, you know what? This might be a little bit of a jump up for the other skill players because we know he was already super involved. The projections on Akers ca catching passes or the fact that we've seen Todd Gurley do it or the fact that we've seen Matt Stafford throw to running backs was the fact that we've seen Akers be a very good pass catcher in college. So we were projecting the jump based on talent and pure fucking hype and adrenaline. Uh, so I, I don't think it's it's a really big, I mean, it's a hit to the offense, of course, but running backs, when people say running backs don't matter, they mean that in the sense of like real NFL games, right? doesn't really push the needle. So so this is devastating, man. Uh, Darrell Henderson, I, again, I'll have to look at my rankings, but off the top of my head, I think he probably slots into a lot of those like second year running backs that were like kind of on the fence about. You know, it, it becomes a, a question of like, would you rather have DeAndre Swift or J.K. Dobbins or Darrell Henderson? I think the other, the the former two, or the former, the latter, yeah, the former two, the sophomores are much more talented. But Darrell Henderson's situation cannot be understated. Um, so I don't even want to look in the group chat of my dynasty leagues. I also traded for Cam Akers in another one of my dynasty leagues, which I was absolutely competing for a championship this year. So everything's just fucked. Everything's just fucked, and I just, I just, I just hate everything about my life. Yep, they're putting uh, they're putting screenshots of the trade that I made. You fucking you motherfuckers! Let me put it onto the video right now so you guys can feel my goddamn pain. This was the trade I made. Why is that so big? I hope you guys can see that. Yep, about a month ago. Like how Flicker Flicker says, about a month ago. Like it doesn't make me feel better. Can't you just use a fucking? Can't you just code something in that has the actual date of the trade? Cam Akers, Deontay Johnson, third round pick, Sam Darnold, Nick Chubb, Mike Davis. Man, oh, fucking man. I still have McCaffrey and Eckler. Eckler, who I talked about in this morning's video, so make sure that you go check out that video again. Top five elite upside running backs for the 2021 fantasy football season. 
I will be uh, I will be at the HQ crying for the rest of the day. So um, thank you for hopping on with me, I guess. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're covering everything fantasy football related for the rest of the summer. And hit the thumbs up button if you are also going to be crying with me for the rest of the day.